Hey everyone, this is Todd with High Scale Reptiles. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly tube and restrain a venomous reptile. We actually have a western diamondback rattlesnake that we picked up on a relocation call. And he's got some cactus thorns stuck in him pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and tube him today, get those thorns out before we release him. Uh, he's already uncomfortable as it is, so we're going to try to do this as quick as possible. What you got to do first is you got to make sure that you have the proper tube size for the actual snake. I'm actually going to be working out of a bucket. This is just easier for me. Uh, a lot of people like to actually work on the floor somewhere where the snake can't get too good of a grip to take off. But uh, working out of the bucket is just, it's a lot easier with the snake the size. He's actually on the small side. So, But you want to start off with a tube that you can uh, get him to crawl up into. And you're going to work with a hook. Let's see if we can... Western Diamondbacks are a lot more jumpy than copperheads and corals and stuff like that. We don't want to hurt them either. We're just going to very slowly work them up into the tube. He's not going to be happy at first. There he goes. Oh, don't come up. Back up. There he goes. All right. Now, he is too, but that doesn't mean that he can't bite you through this tube, so I don't suggest you hold him anywhere up by his head. So we've got the thorn actually right here in the tube, one of the thorns, so we're going to try to back him out just a little bit. Just a little, just a little. We don't want to take him out too far. We want to make sure that he can't come back around on his head. There's one of the thorns. Now, let's go ahead and... Uh, Where's the next tube size? We'll go ahead and give him the next tube size down. No, nope, that's, that's, that's up. And we'll see if we can actually get him into a smaller tube. We've already pulled out one of the thorns, so that's going to help him out quite a bit. And this might have to be the... No, nah, he's not going to fit in this nah. one. All right, he won't fit in the next size down, so we're going to have to work him into this. I'm going to go ahead and get him forward a little bit more. There we go. He's a little bit wet because he was in his water bowl. And then I'm just going to look him over and I'm going to kind of check him and see there's another thorn there. That one kind of fell out. But I just want to make sure that we get everything out of him before we release him. He's actually in pretty pristine shape. His belly looks really good. He's very, very clean. I don't see any ticks or anything like that on him. So, and I do believe that we did get the only two thorns that he had sticking out of him. So that ought to help him out pretty good. Now we can go ahead and release this guy back into the wild where uh, nobody will mess with him anymore. He'll be far away from people. Thanks for watching. I would just like to point out that this video was filmed so that you would get an understanding of the proper handling and tubing of a venomous snake. In no way did I film this video for anyone who is not experienced to go out there and try this themselves. If you have no experience with hots whatsoever, you should never, ever attempt to handle a hot or to tube a hot. Uh, you need to make sure that you get the proper training from somebody. This video is more of a guide than it is an actual how-to, just so you can see the actual procedures that we use in order to take care of a situation like thorns stuck in a Western Diamondback rattlesnake. I appreciate you guys watching. Please don't try this at home unless you have experience and make sure that you are with somebody that actually has experience. Do not attempt to do this on your own. Thank you.